everybody, Gabby here with another Battle of the Day. Today I'm playing a Twitter uh, user known as Hoffitz. Um, you can find his link in the, prof in the video description down below. Um, I don't know much about him either, and after yesterday's game I'm definitely going to spend more time in Team Freeview and try and make sure I bring the right Pokémon. Um, Alright, so it looks like he's running a fairly standard Kangaskhan team. I am not going to make the mistake I made yesterday of not bringing Scrafty when I see Kangaskhan, that's for sure. Um, he has a Thunderous T, a uh, Amoongus, Kangaskhan, Heatran, uh, Landorus T, and Sylveon. Um, the beautiful thing about this team is barring Landorus and uh, Heatran, um, Metagross kind of does a lot of work. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me think here, I do want to have Ludicolo and Politoed um, on this team. I also want to bring Scrafty and Metagross. What I'm trying to decide though is if I need anything else. Um, and you know what, I don't really think I do. I mean, because Thunderous T is not going to set up hacks, it's probably Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. Uh, Among Us, Metagross can easily handle that, and uh, my Ludicolo isn't really that afraid of it. Um, I doubt he's going to bring Heatran, and honestly, I I'm starting to wonder if that Metagross is enough to keep that Sylveon away. So who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and he'll just bring uh, like a Thunderous T, Landorus T lead with Kangaskhan, and then one of the other three in the back, depending on what kind of game he wants to play. But we'll find out. Uh, good luck and have fun. Alright. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm just going to refer to him by his in-name game. So Amelia sends in Sylveon and Kangaskhan. A very kind of standard lead, um, probably fake out Specs Hyper Voice if I had to guess. Uh, which means I can kind of maneuver around it a little bit. Um, because of rain, my fake out's faster than Kangaskhan's fake out, and I have the Scarf Politoed, so I'm gonna go for fake out onto that Kangaskhan, and I'm actually gonna click the Hydro Pump button again, just because I think I really need that extra bulk. I know I'm probably not gonna get a KO on Sylveon, but it'd be nice to get it to the point where, like, a Scald or something can finish it up, and then Hydro Pump can be used to help deal with that Kangaskhan next turn. Kangaskhan does Mega Evolve, uh, no surprises there. Uh, Ludicolo, or Lud Lud Oh, I, I'm sorry, I can't talk. Uh, Kangaskhan does flinch. Politoed does, however, miss the uh, Hydro Pump, meaning Hyper Voice will hit both my Pokemon and crit Politoed, but it still doesn't knock it out, so it could be a little bit worse. Um, I've definitely had worse first turns, as yesterday's battle kind of proves. So I'm locked into Hydro Pump now, so I'm just going to keep pressing that button. And in regards to Ludicolo, um, as you can see, uh, that. Hyper Voice really did nothing to it. I'm not too scared. I'm more worried about his Kangaskhan. I'm gonna double into it. I don't think he has Protect, otherwise I feel like he would've used it maybe last turn. Um, I don't know, I have a feeling that was like a Power Up Punch or, or a Fake Out or something, so uh, we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, Ludicolo gets the Scald. It does connect with that Kangaskhan. Does a little less than half when you add on the uh, the fake out damage from last turn, and Hydro Pump does do enough to knock it out, meaning I will have effectively traded my Politoed for his uh, Kangaskhan this turn. But the good news is, is that Politoed actually lives because Sylveon uses Shadow Ball, so it's probably Assault Vest. In fact, it's definitely Assault Vest, um, unless it's like a weird like Citrus or something like that. Uh, so now we have the Amoongus. Uh, Politoed's gonna die this turn no matter what, meaning Amoongus is probably gonna like Sludge Bomb or something into uh, the Ludicolo slot. And as much as I'd love to keep him in and just like maybe Ice Beam or something, given the fact that I have a, my guts telling me Amoongus is going to like Sludge Bomb, I'm gonna actually send in Metagross. Now this is a little bit risky because if he calls me on this play, he can certainly spore me and Metagross would not like that at all. But I think right now I should be safe. Uh, Politoed goes for the Hydro Pump, does connect with Sylveon this time, and definitely confirms that's Assault Vest. Sylveon goes for the Hyper Voice, which uh, does a surprising... Oh, it gets another crit. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, how is it doing that much damage if it's not Specs? And uh, 
Amoongus does go for the Sludge Bomb, so now we have uh, a Metagross that is a little bit over half, a Ludicolo that is a little bit damaged, but is otherwise okay. So here, I'm going to fake out his Sylveon. I don't really want it Shadow Balling me or anything, and I'm just going to go straight for the Send Headbutt on that Amoongus. Um, could be a little risky if he tries to Spore. Maybe setting up a sub would be better, but honestly, I'm feeling like being a little bit more offensive right now, and I really would like to try and like uh, bring it down to 3 on 2. Especially since I don't really know what he has in the back yet, and I would really like to make sure it's out on the field before we lose rain. Sylveon goes for the Protect, meaning that it is not of the uh, of the Assault Vest variety. And Meta, I mean, sorry, Metagross. Um, Amoongus goes for it too, meaning that Sub was definitely the better play there. However, rain's still up for a turn. Um, so, let me think here. I can Now that uh, I've wasted my turn of fake out, as much as I like hate to just leave Amoongus there to do what it wants, I really got to get rid of that Sylveon because it's just still too powerful. So I'm gonna go for the Iron Head on it. Sylveon's Quick Claw activates, get letting it Shadow Ball my Metagross before it can knock it out, effectively almost bringing it down to zero health. H Metagross hangs on with three HP like the champ he is, huh? Quick Claw. Um. Iron Head will connect, definitely KOing it now that I know it's not really that bulky. Which means that Amoongus probably went for that Sludge Bomb again, right into, yep, right into my Ludicolo. Um, I believe I have one turn of rain left. Or no, I don't have any rain left, never mind. Meaning, whatever he sends in, um, especially if it's a Scarf Landorus, uh, not good. It's actually Thunderous. So there is some hope, I guess. I don't. I don't really know what my play is here, because I think the only thing I can really do is just hope that my Metagross outspeeds whatever kind of Landorus that, or Thunderous that is, and KOs that Amoongus before it attacks or sleeps or whatever, which does happen, thank god. Um, however, Rocky Helmet will KO me, meaning that whatever attack he might have used with the, uh, with the Thunderous will be retargeted towards my Amoongus, or, ah... My Ludicolo. I'm so sorry, I'm getting all these Pokemon confused. Which will take it out, meaning it's now Scrafty versus some form of uh, Thunderous T. Which isn't the worst, but could be really bad, I suppose. Um, I mean, Intimidate's not going to help me, but Scrafty is typically very specially bulky. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go straight for the knockoff. Uh, I want to know what kind of item it's running. Uh, goes for the Thunderbolt again. Is going to do oof a lot. It's probably specs. So at which point the knockoff will definitely help me. Oh, it's Zap Plate. Okay. So knowing that he now has the damage drop uh, because he's not running Zap Plate anymore, and I can get another turn of leftovers healing, I'm gonna go for the Protect here. And then the next turn, I think I'm just gonna go straight for the knockoff again. Um, knowing that I still get a stab with it, and it's not resisted by, uh, that Thunderous T. Um, as much as I'd like to possibly Drain Punch, I don't think Drain Punch will actually do enough damage here to take out that Thunderous. So he goes for a Focus Blast. Okay, now this is gonna be bad. Um, I'm really surprised he didn't go for the Focus Blast at first, honestly, especially since he had it and he wasn't like scarfed. Maybe he was trying to bluff that he was scarfed. I don't know. Uh, Focus Blast, Scrafty dodges, saving the day. Uh, just goes to show you that like, you know, hacks happens, man. Uh, very good game. Very interesting team. Uh, very, very, very close for comfort. So uh, thank you for such a great match. Uh, if you like what you saw, please uh, follow me on Twitter, like the video, share it with your friends. And um, I'm Gabby, and that was your battle of the day. See ya.